Hello, I am Pragya Thakar, Assistant Professor of Science Department at Biyani Girls College. Uh, I welcome you all on behalf of Guru KPU. Today, I will be delivering my lecture on the topic Size Exclusion Chromatography. Before coming on to the topic that is Size Exclusion Chromatography, let us brief you about the general chromatography. The term chromatography, the chrome means color while the graphy means to write, that is writing into the color. This technique was first devised by Swat, the Russian botanist. The scientist devised the technique for the separation of the plant pigment uh, for by making a column consisting of the calcium carbonate. Now coming on to the definition of the chromatography. Chromatography is a biophysical technique that involves the separation of different molecules or the different samples depending upon their partition coefficient. The molecules divide them uh, to different extents in the, according to their partition coefficient into two immiscible phases which involves a stationary phase or a mobile phase. A stationary phase involves a solid or a liquid supported by a solid or a st in case of the mobile phase which is a movable will with respect to the first one. Now coming on to the principle of chromatography. The chromatography is a process which involves the separation of the molecules on the basis of uh, two phases that I explained you that is the stationary phase and the mobile phase which uh, divides according to their RF values. This RF value is calculated by distance travelled by the solute divided by distance travelled by the solvent. Now coming on to the main technique that is the size exclusion chromatography or the molecular sieve chromatography. The size exclusion chromatography also known as the molecular sieve chromatography is a technique for the separation of different molecules depending upon their size or the shape. It is based on the principle that the different molecules have different molecular weight or their size or the shape and when they pass through a porous beads, when they pass through column consisting of a polymer or the porous beads, uh, the particular molecules which are very small or having a low molecular weight, they engulf into the pores and do not and pass very slowly. Now, explaining you in detail, you can see as you can uh, as you can see here in the diagram, uh, when the sample is loaded, initially the molecules start separating. The smaller molecules enter into the pores and move slowly, while the molecules having a larger uh, size or the larger shape, they start move slowly. The whole technique has been divided into two parts that is the gel formation chromatography or gel filtration chromatography. The gel formation chromatography involves the formation of a column that consists of a solid support which may be a dextrin, agarose or a polyacrylamide that forms a stationary phase on a mobile phase that has an organic solvent. While in case of the gel filtration chromatography that involves a aqueous phase as a mobile phase and similar to the gel, uh, gel formation chromatography it involves a stationary phase that is a immiscible uh, solid support made by a dextran agarose or a polyacrylamide. The smallest molecule, the molecular mass of the smallest molecule that is unable to enter into the pore, it defines the gel exclusion limit. Uh, this technique is mostly used for the separation of the proteins of different molecular weights. That's all for the lecture. Thank you, thank you and thank you. For more information you may visit our website www.gurukpo.com.